All right, we're gonna start warming up with the block, okay? We're gonna grab collar and sleeve. We're gonna control this sleeve like this, okay? You know, sometimes uh, it's good to to grab like as, as deep as you can so you have a lot of slack, okay? So if you grab like just like this, sometimes like you feel like his hand gonna get inside the gear, okay? Uh, yes, this is illegal, right? But if you do like really fast, like grab really fast, no problem, okay? So that way you have a really good grip. So now, you're gonna control the collar right here, okay? You need to control really deep. It's gonna control right here. Uh, and the same, align with this uh, chin, okay? Right here. My left leg, I'm gonna pulse right on his shoulder, okay? So keep my left foot on the shoulder. And then he's gonna close the elbow. Usually your opponent's gonna play like this. Sometimes he's gonna grab my belt, sometimes he's gonna grab my collar. Okay, but he's gonna maintain this elbow closed because if you open the elbow like this, it's so easy for me to attack the omoplata from this thing. So my right foot, I can keep as de la hip of hook, okay? I can pose on his hip, okay? Or I can get a shallow lasso like this. I can do deep lasso as well, but I prefer here because you can make uh, easier transitions, right? You don't get stuck. So if I'm you put the foot like this, he can start getting close to you, okay? So right here, you manage the distance. If you try to get close to me, I can push him away. And any time that I want to undo the lasso, I can. So I can close the foot here, or I can go straight to the heva. Okay, let's say I'm, I'm using the lasso here, and you turn a little bit sideways, like this, okay? I can change for a very nice little heva here, start bring him to the side, okay, make him off balance. So it's very important to keep this foot right here, my left foot on his shoulder, and he's gonna try to always pummel my, my leg inside like this. And every time he does that, it's gonna be easier for him to pass your guard. He can step over my leg and start working as a knee cut, or he can go for Toriano pass like sprawl and start going around my legs like this, okay? So make sure like when he's trying to pummel in the, the arm inside, Make sure you keep your heel like really close to his chest, okay, and don't allow him like to do it, okay? So he's gonna try to close his elbow to put the hand inside, and if that happens, if you go like this, immediately I gotta go back here, okay? That's a very important fight right here, okay? So now, I'm gonna post my foot right on his hip right here, okay? And I need to push him away a little bit, and I like to turn towards the side that I'm grabbing the arm, okay? I'm just like that. So Dom is gonna close his elbow. He's gonna be on this position here. I'm gonna start escaping my hips and put my kneecap right behind his tricep. Uh -huh. So I'm here, I'm gonna escape my hip like this, and I put my kneecap inside here, you see? So now he can't lock the elbow, so it's easier for me to go back with the omoplata, okay? So we're just gonna keep practicing this. So he's here, I can start the lahiva. I can push, I can go lasso, go back and push, escape my hip. Inside, you see I put my kneecap inside. Now, I go back with the omoplata, and I go back. So you see that I don't let go of my grips, okay? You just keep playing like that. Step one, step two, step three, play a little bit, if you pummel on your leg, you go back here, escape your hip, knee inside and get the omopla. Just keep drilling like that, okay? So maintain your grips and always ask your partner to keep the elbow in because that's what he's gonna do in the fight. So you just keep the hip and then you put your kneecap inside. Turn on the, you see that when he does that, there's a, a triangle here. So I wanna put my knee right inside that triangle, okay? And then, I can get the omoplata, okay? Person on top, keep standing. Each person will do for one minute. Do as many times as you can, okay? That's just a warm up. So one, two, three. We are here, collar sleeve, okay? If you control really deep when you stand up, it's gonna be easier for him to break your grip. So grab right here. So you also have like some space here to step your foot on the lapel if you need to do the shallow last. Okay, when you grab really deep, it's gonna be harder for you to do it. So just grab here, all right? 
So I control him, I have a good grip, I close my elbows. One thing really important too is to keep my thigh right on top of my forearm here, okay? Because my thigh will help me to pull him as well. Okay, so I step my thigh here, so I go like this. So I can be more relaxed as well. Okay, instead of being with my legs open like that, so he's gonna start posture up. And now look, he's just carrying the weight of my arm and shoulder, right? So when I put my thigh here, now he try to step to stand up, it's a little bit harder. Because now there's the weight of my legs on the arm as well, okay? So I can put more pressure on him. So right now, Dom is uh, closing the elbow, same thing. I'm gonna start pushing him away a little bit, skip the hips, and then I put my knee inside. When I put my knee inside, make sure you keep his hand outside, okay? So when you go to the Moplata, you put his hand on your pocket here, okay? And then you're gonna close the leg like this. So I'm grabbing uh, the collar right here, he's trying to stand up, trying to stand up now. And I make his arm like a hook around my leg, okay, around my thigh. So if I keep his arm straight, he can take the elbow out, he can start like going away from the omoplata, okay? So make sure you bend his arm like this. Okay, when you try to stand up right now, even if I don't have the figure four, he's gonna carry my weight, okay? So now you got the figure four right here. There's different reactions uh, for your opponents right now. So he can keep the uh, hip off the mat or the knees off the mat. That's what I mean. You try to like stand up, keep, keep on your feet. There you go, like this, okay? That's one way he can react or he can drop the knees on the floor. Like sometimes you're putting to drop the knees on the floor like this because he's already tired. Once you get the omoplata, he's gonna be in this situation here. Okay, go back on. So just like we did yesterday, so I'm here controlling him. Dom is closing the elbow, putting the knee inside. Get the figure four, he dropped the knees on the floor. I'm gonna start like reaching his back right here right now, letting go the collar and then sitting up. Control you right on his flat right here, turn around him. So I'm gonna control here. Okay, I'll grab right here. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna face away from my opponent. So I'm not gonna try to escape my hips this way, taking my hips away from his hip. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring him over me like this. Okay, it's pretty much putting my rib towards the mat right here. You see that Dom is on top of me right now? Now I use my, my hip to sweep him. Like this, okay? And then I got on top of him, okay? Again, from here Dom, I get the Moplata, he drop, I sit up like this. So I face outside. You see that I, that I need to lean and put my my weight down like this. Try to go back, put your belly down. It's a little bit harder for him. Now, now I can use my toes, okay, from this leg right here, from the outside leg on the floor. When I do it, I use my toes to help me turn it like this. And then I come on top, okay? So once I'm here, I can attack the omoplata again. I'm gonna roll, okay, and then I underhook his arm, okay? Underhook the arm and grab his shoulder, okay, like this, okay. So don't grab the arm itself like this because he can leave the arm out and start escaping. So grab the arm or grab the shoulder, sorry, don't. Okay, when you control the shoulder, it's easier for you. So if you grab the arm, just make sure you don't let your opponent uh, leave the arm out, okay. So once you're here, bring your heel towards your butt your foot on the floor, then you start skipping the hips, like this. I'll wait for your opponent until he tap. He tap up. One, two, three. So I grab right on the last way here, okay? And now look, to sweep I go like this. I do like this, so my hip goes in, and at the same time, I'll bring him on top of me like this, and then, I'll turn, okay, once I get here, I roll and get the underhook with his arm. It's like a crucifix here, open the figure four and then start sticking the hip, okay? One more time. You can do back and forth, okay? From here, push in, the platter, sit up, 
When you sit up, make sure your rib is in contact with this forearm, okay? Leave your hip inside. Now you're gonna go down. And then turn like this. Now you roll facing outside, under hook his arm. You get the fish. Now I'm gonna go in here. Okay. I'm gonna You wanna control me? Face outside. Exactly, lean back, and then sweep me. And once you sweep, you got the points. Roll, and get the trap. Shoulder trap, okay? Just like we did yesterday, but we add in the roll, okay? To uh, reset the kimura. You guys have any questions? And what, uh, what scenario would you do this versus just finishing the umapada if you're already that far into it? Yeah, um, this works really well, like, because when I, when I set up the moplata here, okay, and I feel like he's putting the weight on me, and I'm trying to escape the hips, and he's on top of me, so instead of like escaping the hips, when I escape the hips, we turn both knees on the floor, done. You're gonna have both knees on the floor, now roll them. So we need to roll them. Roll forward? Yeah, roll forward. He's gonna roll like this, and sometimes he's gonna recover the guard, because he's the one who initiated the roll, okay? When he's initiating the, the action, that means like he's already have uh, things to do ahead of me. But he starts first. So when he rolls, he rolls to recover the guard. Or he rolls like to counter me. Or he rolls faster than, than I was expecting. Right? And then I end up losing the position. So by initiating the roll first, before him, I can manage the situation better than him. Because I'm first, you understand? So when I start first, I'll be faster than him because my thoughts and my techniques is ahead of, of his, you know? So when I get here, like when I get here and Dom is like leaning towards me here, right? Instead of waiting for him to roll, because I know if I skip the hips outside and try to finish him apart, he's going to roll. He's going to roll. That's the defense, the, the, the defense he needs to use. So instead of like skipping the hips, I just going to bring him and then... I can go right away and surprise him with a maximum block, or just like that. So I turn him, now he's slower than me, so then I can, right after I sweep him, I can roll immediately, like going to the omoplata without letting him, like, trying to escape. Instead of, like, going like this, escaping the hips out, and then he's gonna go, like, super fast, and then I can't keep up with the roll. That's why I use that. Especially like when people start like leaning on top of you as you're trying to escape the hips. That happens a lot. Okay? Any other questions? Alright, so let's work. One, two, three. Uh, just like I said before, so when when I'm on top and this is not gonna say put the omoplata on me, you got the omoplata on me here, right? And then if it if it goes to the regular omoplata, that doesn't mean like he's not gonna get the submission, right? But how many of you like get the omoplata? And how many of you like finish from the omoplata, right? So even if you, if you understand the omoplata, I believe the percentage of finishing the omoplata is like 90% of chances the guy escape and 10% of chance you're gonna finish. Right? Most of the time you get the omoplata is more like to get a nice sweep and land in a better situation because it's like easy for your opponent to escape, right? So if you understand that uh, if you control the collar and the sleeve, and even though like after you set up the omoplata, control my collar here, he's controlling my collar. So he understood that this hand right here will will make sure like the omoplata is secure because if you let go of this hand right here, it's easier for me to get out, right? So he, he understood this. But once you sit up, right, sit up, Notice that I'm here, like this, this uh, position for me, it's very natural, like just to do a four row, right? And as I mentioned before, um, if you start escaping your hip outside, start escaping the hip, so your opponent has a great chance like to look away from you and start like going for a really fast roll. Even though you can still like follow him, right? Follow me here, okay? So I roll, he's gonna follow me. And then you guys, I keep rolling like this. Okay, so uh, you 
you notice that you can keep chasing him, but once you're gonna go away, like you guys gonna probably go off the mat, or you guys gonna bounce someone, right? If you're training, if you're in a tournament, you're probably gonna score two points, which is like a sweep, right? Uh, the same score for for a sweep as uh, it was the same same thing, but um, you know, like you want to finish the fight, you want to make sure. You stop and you slow down your opponent instead of just going to the Moplata and then he keep like running for you, okay? So if, if Rezaga get the Moplata on me here, okay? And he sit up, okay? Um, there's different ways for you to, to finish right here. If you just go when your opponent is with, with both knees on the floor like this, facing like this, it's so easy for him to escape, okay? And actually, if I'm very flexible on my shoulder, also I can resist even if I don't roll, okay? Let's say this guy starts sitting up like this, right? He may finish me here, but like I say, at any time, I can, I can roll super fast. And if I'm, if I'm a, a fighter that understands the omoplata concept, I know that uh, that one roll is not enough. One roll is not enough. I need to roll, 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 roll until I escape. I cannot just roll one time and stop because I don't want to be on bottom too, right? So once Bizaga get the, the position and I start rolling, it's going to be easy for me to escape. But when he put my hip on the side, let's say if he got here and then he, he escaped the hips away, escaped the hip away from me, right? like this, and put my hip like this, I'm facing with my chest away from him. Now it's way easier for him to finish me easier for him to make transitions too. Super hard for me to roll and skate. Because for me to roll right now here, I need to go back on my knees and then roll. But if Bizaga put the weight of his armpit on top of my hip, it's super hard for me to skate. Especially if he get the shoulder trap right here right now. Now he can tap me out really well. Plus, he can start attacking my neck here as well. He can go for a nice choke right here. Yeah, I have just one arm to defend the, the neck. And this arm is not gonna be enough for me to defend my neck, okay? Let's see if I'm super, super flexible, I'm not tapping on the You can always go to the, to the collar choke, or you can even set up a nice uh, uh, mataleo, okay? Or a rear naked choke, okay? But you see, like, when, when Bizanga get the omoplata and starts escaping the hips away from me, go Bizanga, here. He got the omoplata and he starts escaping the hips away from me, I can go. He gave me space, okay? Because my hip is far from his hip. But I do, like if he does the way that we did, putting the hip underneath of me, like really close like this, now he's attached with me, okay? If I roll, he can follow me, okay? Super easy. And when I try to roll and his hips is inside like this, he's facing away from me, he's gonna work with the hip toss as well, okay? So let's say if I try to roll here, he's not just gonna just say, you see, like he's gonna hit past me like this, okay? That always works, okay? I use that against heavyweights. Plus, keep your hand there. Plus, you see where is his hand? His hand is here already, you see? Now, if I try to sit up to roll again, that's when he's gonna trap my shoulder. Like, boom, right there, because his hand's already under my back. It's different when, when you go here, come here, on. You know, like yesterday I posted this on my Instagram and a guy asked me like, why you, you do it? If you can just like come up, you know, what is the difference? That's the difference, you know, it makes a huge sense for you to keep your hand like that. And plus, every time you try to go away, you give him space, he's gonna escape, okay? And when, when Bizaga go away with his hips as well, I can place my knee here, I can stab this leg over, okay? When he put the hips really close to me like this, look, I can't step over him. I can't put my knee there, okay? Plus, everything that I say here will be very useful for him. The hand that's on my back, okay, will be very useful. When he sweep me, when I try to roll, he's gonna toss me over him like this. His hand is here already. And now, what I need to do here, if I try to face him, nothing will work here. I'm gonna try to sit up to roll again, right? but I need to sit up, okay? Even if you don't trap my shoulder, let's say Bizarre didn't trap my shoulder, I need to bring my legs like this to try to turtle again to roll, 
Okay? But at the moment that I put my legs away, that's when you put my side on the floor. Like this. Oh! Now I'm facing to the side where he, he want me to be, right? And the side that's really bad for me, okay? And now it's gonna be so easy for him to finish me, okay? So, for example, another example here, when I'm attacking the omoplata, stay on my clothes there. I'm attacking the omoplata. And a lot of people attack the omoplata like this, right? Like a rubber guard, okay? And when you go as a rubber guard, you need to keep like this. Because at the moment that you change to the regular moplata, he can start rolling. Okay, attack. All right? So I like to attack like this. Look, I pass my leg here, and I like to do this. Okay, I block him, and then I grab him here. Now he's on top of my hip again. I turn him. Now, with him sitting up or not, I can choose here. I can roll forward and go to Moplata again. Or I can simply, like, if he doesn't want to roll, okay, I can stay here. But if I really want to finish on Moplata here, I'm going to roll. Let's say I couldn't trap his shoulder. Right? I couldn't trap his shoulder. I can keep his belly facing down, and then I'm going to finish him right here. Okay? You understand that? So after you put the rib on the floor, like he's facing his chest away from you, it's gonna be so easy for you to shoulder trap him and go for the finish or start getting a nice, nice choke. If your opponent's really flexible, some people they don't feel like the joints of uh, the shoulder, right? Some people can itch their, their ear like this, right? They turn their hand in, it's weird, right? But uh, if you feel like they, they are really flexible, you're lifting the hip like this, they're not tapping, you can easily go to a nice hoppa. Uh, it's a nice choke, sorry, here. Or you can even go like this, okay? Like a rear really naked choke. It's very important after he face away from you like this to keep your, your armpit, your lat, super heavy on him, okay? Because you want to keep his side on the floor. You don't want him to turtle again because every time he turtles and he takes his hips off the mat like this, he can roll, he can run, he can stand up, right? So you need to make sure you keep his side on the floor. So use your weight on your lat right here. Okay, try to lift your hip. Like don't let him lift his hips. Okay, and put a lot of pressure. Using my toes and my feet on the floor to keep super heavy right here. Okay? You want me here? We're gonna do the same thing. But now you you understand that when you keep your hand on his back after you you toss him over you, you can easily roll and go to one plot. And if you try to re-roll, you're gonna Escape the hips and make his rib touch the floor. And then he's not gonna be on turtle position. He's gonna be on the side position, which is way better for you. So he's gonna be here. He's gonna take the omoplata on me, right? So he got right here, he grabbed me, exactly. And now look, he's facing the hip towards me here. He wants to finish one omoplata, of course. Plus in the tournament, if he goes like this, and he got here and he holds for three seconds, there's two points for him. Now he rolls. He's on the omoplata. Even if I skate right now, uh, like this, you have two points on me and he's still on bottom. <laughs> you understand? So, it's a very good strategy when you're fighting against uh, uh, a guy that likes to play guard, you know, for example. Right? Like I'm fighting a guard player, I sweep him, now I'm inside his guard, he's like really tough, and then he's gonna be in a re very good position. So I pull guard, I can score two points, I can redo the omoplata, and I can steal on bottom, you know? So it's a great option for you, okay? You understand? All right, so let's work on that. Now when you sweep, the person who's on top will try to re-roll. So you got here, right? He's gonna sweep me here. Boom, I'm gonna try to re-roll right here. That's when he's gonna grab me and escape her hip away right now. Is that a little bit? That, that, yeah, right there. So make sure you keep my hip on the floor like this. At the moment that I try to re-roll, I'll be like this. So I'll need to do this. That's when you go put my chest on the floor and, and finish it here, okay? Because I can't re-roll re like this, okay? All right, let's work on this. One, two, three. 